Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, this one's a fun one. Tribal Star, Boreal, Boreal Forest. Um, and we have Psycasts. We have the expanded, or Psycast expanded, vanilla Psycast expanded uh, mod. I really don't know much of any of what goes on here. So it's going to be a fun new experience uh for me and hopefully you but before we even delve into this first thing we're going to need to do is get set up with a with a house a spot for sleeping um and we need to get some warm clothes so let's get everybody equipped with our things but let's introduce our colonists senra rola wombat Coyote and Goobia. The troublesome one probably will be Wombat with very neurotic and undergrounder. But hopefully we'll be fine. Alright, first things first is let's set up a small house and then we're going to go hunting for stuff. Animals. We'll just do 9 by 9 for now, that'll... Maybe we should do 13 by 13. 13 by 13 is always a good shout. 11 by 11 rooms are just superior to everything else. And let's throw in a door. Just a quick reminder, if you like the content that you're about to watch, or have liked content of mine before, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and... Um, watch more of the content. Which is what you do on YouTube. You can't see this, but I'm doing like the wavy hand bits um, as to express what I'm suggesting. Ooh. Senra now holds the role of Grand Chief. Okay. I guess they just assign it. We should have a look at our idea, Legend, while we're here. Uh, psychic focus. So we focus on our psych. psychism. psychism. But I kind of like how they automatically assign the roles. I think that is good. Makes my life less awkward. And I'm lazy. As usual for a tribal star, uh, the hardest thing is going to be getting a food source set up. Um, it's always going to be the hardest part. Uh, but we do have our fuel stove. We can also research things like uh, stews and soups making um, that we can do over a fire. But for now, we will probably just throw a campfire down and work off of that for a while. So I have set some of our uh, soldiers to go off hunting. I say soldiers. Um, next thing we're going to work on is getting some crops growing. You have fertile soil there, which is what I'm going to fill up first with rice, because having our first set of food is the most important. And then we're going to have a look through our psychasts that we can get. So let's look at our psychasts. We have Archon, the path of kings, often occupy the highest seats in the local governments. I'm not going to do this right now because I don't have the ability to, sus to sustain a king. Chronopath are rare and mysterious psychasts. It's capable of manipulating the fabric of time itself. It's pretty cool. It's cool that they can, they, they, they can do things like pause raids, make uh, crafting quicker. That, that might be a, a possible choice. Conflagrillators and the Masters of Flame. So this is all about fire and fighting with fire. Empath psychast is committed to serving the community and boosting the kin spirit. So happiness... Frost Shaper is fighting with Frost, Ice, funnily enough. Harmonists alter the probability, luck, and balance of the universe. So, Mind Control, Skill Roll, Transmutation, Health Swap. One of our people are going to be doing this one. Necropath, necro uh, Masters of the Dark Arts, and Necropaths live to defy death itself. We can resurrect corpses in this one, which is pretty cool. Night Stalkers, Silent Assassins, who Strike from the shadows. Night stalkers move under the cover of darkness, gaining power from the absence of light. They are capable of skipping to wherever darkness prevails and executing multiple near simultaneous strikes to their target's heart. 
melee fighters. Protectors, so basically the tank. Skipmaster, so teleportation. Static Law, fighting with lightning and thunder. Wild Speak, the secret path of the tribal communities. Wild Speaking is the art of living in harmony with the forest and nature, and being able to summon the aid of the forest when needed. That is also going to be pretty cool. Um, tribal Wild Speakers are known to control packs of territorial animals, be protected from all damage by an impenetrable shield, and they can also seem to make brambles and trees sprout of the ground on a whim. Warlord, Masters of Warfare, Warlords serve only themselves, are able to improve their perception, reflexes, speed, and stamina at will. And Technomancer, Masters of Knowledge and Technology, Technomancers can improve existing technology. We're not going to worry about that for now. Okay, so we need to pick who's going to do what. So I'm going to go through and have a look. So for Senra, who has the highest melee skill, the highest fighting skill in general, I'm thinking either Protector or something like um, Wild Speaker, so they can have animals go forward with them. And I think that's what I'm, I'm going to pick Wild Speaker. So their first skill is Bramble Maze. Infuse a fertile area with chaotic life energy, causing it to sprout shoots of brambles that wither after 12 hours. Crop Burst. Infuses a fertile area with life energy, causing it to sprout plantable crops that finish growth in relation to the caster's psychonic sensitivity. That's pretty cool. And then Word of Animals. Man Hunting Pulse. So, controlling animals. So, we will get the first one for now, because it's all they can do. Roller is all about plants and animals, so I'm thinking Harmonists might be a good uh, good one. Uh, can swap health luck transfer so let's have a quick look so the first one psychic guidance dampens the caster's sight hearing movement and manipulation in exchange for overcharging the target's own physical abilities that's pretty cool take the first one the second one transmute stone designate an area of stone which will have its minerals swapped out for a single randomized type of from an underground stra strata that's kind of cool or mind control. Psychically dominate a target for a brief period, scaling with a psych psychic sensitivity, giving the caster a second body. However, it would be difficult being two people at once. Don't know what that does, but it sounds cool. I feel like it's fitting for Wombat to be a necropath. Chaotic. He feels like a chaotic evil kind of person. Coyote has bloodlust. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking fire. Fire sounds like it. So this is flame ball. Generate a small fragile pot of magma as the caster lobs a projectile away. Upon impact, the liquid bursts forth in a small radius. I feel like when you've got bloodlust, you like fire. And Gubia, the excavator, good at mining and cooking. You, my friend, you are going to be... I'm thinking a skip master. You know, to like teleport and, and things like that. But I also thought about having them be uh protector. Mm, maybe we go with I think skip master. Having the teleportation is pretty cool. So you can have solar pinhole for now. Alright. Let's get our base set up. So we have people out hunting at the moment. Next step is to get beds set up. Although we've only got sleeping spots at the moment because we haven't researched beds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get a table set up so they're not eating off the ground because we all know that's essentially a war crime in Rimworld. They hate that so very much. So let's go ahead and stick that there along with some stools. We've got our growing zones set already, so hopefully they won't take too long. At least when it gets to the winter, it's going to be so cold here that it will freeze the crops if we add a vent to the room. So that is a bonus. But I do need some food. We're going to need to hunt some animals and get some pemmican starting to grow. And then research. Alright, campfire set up. Butchering... The creatures and then being able to cook meals happy times happy days they'll cook 
uh, up to 10 meals and then they will make pemmican if we have any uh, plant resources available. So I'm going to set the berry bushes to get harvested. And hopefully we'll get enough um, pelt to start making some parkers real soon. But I don't want to kill all the animals because eventually the meat will rot and it'll be a massive waste. Okay, so for now, the plan is to just constantly harvest um, plant matter. We're going to need it to sustain ourselves, and it takes months for it to go off. So the plan is to just harvest as much food as I possibly, possibly can. So everybody is set to, to grow. That is our main priority for starters. We have also going to deconstruct the steel walls over here to get a bit more steel because we have none without mining it and mining takes a lot of time. Is that more steel? It's slate, isn't it? I don't really want slate. I don't really want stone. Although stone stuff at the moment would be helpful. So maybe we will deconstruct the stone stuff over here as well. If anything, just for um, some extra resources. And then we're going to go out hunting some more and get some, hopefully, some more clothes. And by doing so, we're also getting a ton of wood, which we're also going to need a fair amount of because we need to build bedrooms. We're also going to need to build beds, which is why I have set the slate walls to be, or the stone walls to be deconstructed so I can make slab beds. Look at them all sleeping peacefully. Little do they know that chaos will endure soon. Let's go ahead and hunt these rams. It's already getting cold outside and I hate it. What is the growing... The growing... 11th of September to the 1st of April, May. Dating from 2500 BC. This exciting yet infuriating board game can be played by two... By one or two people. It trains intellectual skills. Um, we need um, some recreation variety, so I'm just going to throw some things down, add some couple more stools around, make everyone all happy and stuff, and then we really do need to focus on beds. Yo, this fox got fucked up by a squirrel. Yo, talk about meteorites. L-tax ore, rock containing bits of L-tax, steel, and then jade. Like, that's so much. That's going to be so worth like, mining later. So we could make bedrolls. And I, I may do eventually, but I really want to save the um, the hides and the furs for parkers, because we're going to need them more. However, with the expanded furniture mod, we have slab beds. I wonder how much at slate. So we can make some slab beds for our people. 1, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. We should have enough. Oh no, we don't quite have enough. We will do once we finished deconstructing all of these slate box, though. So I have everybody set to researching fun, uh, or set to, everybody is able to research, and I think the first thing I'm going to research is probably complex clothing. I did think about getting furniture, basic furniture to get beds and stuff, because um, I can make them out of wood, and I th mm, that only takes 300. We'll do that, actually, because it's much quicker than doing complex clothing we have a trader who's our best social person gooby is our best social person we'll see if we've got anything to trade or that's worth buying we don't have a lot of silver but we may be able to trade them some things we may be able to buy some things transport pod crash grunt suffering from paralytic abrasia you know what i don't have the ability to i'm sorry sorry grunt i don't have the ability to look after you right now I'm I'm sorry. Okay, Gubia, go ahead and trade with these guys to see if there's anything worth buying slash selling. Okay, I guess it's just buying, and there's not really anything here worth buying. Mm. I mean, word of animals would be good, but we definitely don't have enough money. We could buy some chickens. I could buy some chickens. They would help us get through the 
Mm, nah, I don't have the ability to sustain the chickens right now. Our crops are growing nicely, though, and it's warming up a little bit. We are going to still need parkers soon, though. Our slab beds are being built. Minor break wrestle has gone out, that's from their mind. Yep, need warm clothes, we're working on that. Coyote, I kind of need you to finish off building... Building these things, please. They're more important right now, so you guys have somewhere to sleep at night, rather than just on the floor. Oh, you would fail at it, wouldn't you? You have to make it out of something else now. Uh, marble slab bed it is, then. At least it's nice and warm in the uh, actual thing. Mild break wrist, yeah. Wombat. Slept on the ground, awful barracks. Underground or outside, and I join it, yeah. We're working on it, Wombat, I promise. We're working on it. Need meditation spot? You have meditation spots. Have a side focus need or schedule to meditate, but you, you do have... Or is it because... Ah... Uh, I don't know. I thought they had meditation spots. They're right here. I can set owners to them. So, Senra, Rola, Wombat, Coyote, Ubia. I know you want to sleep right now, but I would rather you get these beds done. I would also like to start getting everyone their own bedrooms. Amusingly, they're all grumpy that they're sleeping in the heat. Um, they'd be complaining more so the other way. Ooh, a slaver. Well, I mean, we're not going to have any money to buy any slaves, so it's kind of pointless, but, you know, it's cool. I have set out some rooms for, or some areas for bedrooms that we are going to need uh, very soon. We'll have to add the floors in and whatnot, but they'll at least be happier that they're not sleeping in the same barracks. There you go. The bedrooms are nearly fully built. Just need furnishing now. I need to add a dumping st another dumping stop while that isn't there, because that's kind of in the way. Let's go ahead and throw it up around there. And then shrink the zone down. Get rid of that random door in the limestone urn. Consecrate the ashes of whoever's in there, I suppose. Uh, sucks to be them. And then let's move these bedrooms into... Well, let's move these beds into the bedrooms. I've just realized I can't count. I need another bedroom. Whoops, a daisies. There you go. Bedroom is nearly done. And we just need to move these... Um, into each of their rooms. Coyotes is going to be that one, and then Gubia is in there. Now they're not going to be grumpy and having to sleep in their own spots. Thankfully, they have their own rooms now, and then we can focus on doing a bit more planting. It's nice to see that we've got um, some crops growing. For now, I'm going to try and avoid... Well, for, for now, I'm going to just hunt all of the animals that can be used. Maybe not all of them, uh, but a, a fair amount of them for now. And we can turn as much of this food into pemmican as we can whilst we have uh, raw food. But for now, I'm just going to suspend the simple meals using vegetarian food. So we just use the animal products because the vegetarian foods lasts so much longer. There we go. We have our nice little uh, Lord rooms now. And I'm probably going to make a few more research benches, and because that's that's something we're going to have to focus on a lot is researching to get our researching skills up, so we can research more things like that. It's just how the game works. So I'm going to change the stockpile to down here, shrink it up here, and then we can also start making some tailoring benches or a tailoring bench. You probably don't need more than one as soon as we finish researching complex clothing. But as soon as start people, as soon as people start finishing their jobs, they're gonna make more research, or they're gonna start with the research, which is always good. I'm gonna move the furniture here so I can build a couple more research benches. Because if I, I want everybody researching when there's nothing else to do, I want them researching. I don't want them idle. So let's get a lot of researching done. 
hope this meat doesn't spoil before we get times to use it. There we go, basic furniture done, now time for complex clothing. I've also replaced the beds with um, sleeping spots, which is always important. Let me re-put these. Um, so we've now got like little net like cargo beds. It's better than nothing. They'll be more happy to sleep on them than they were the slab beds because it's just a slab of stone. Look at our crops of fertile plants growing. Lots and lots of them going on here. From cabbage to wheat. Uh, the meat rotted away, that's fine, which means we need to hunt some more food. Let's go with the ibex um, does, and maybe the yaks too. Maybe maybe the yakaroos. I gave the researchers uh, stools, so they're just standing up and researching. We need to fill the role of a philosopher. Now, I was thinking about who to do that with, and it makes sense to do it with the person with the highest social skill. The problem with that is most of them don't have very high social skills, so it's going to have to be Goobia. I need a ritual spot to do so first. Misk. No, Ideal Legion. Ritual spot. Oh, Senra and Goobia are getting married too. Cool. Let's let them get married, shall we? And they have been married. Begin role change. Oh, why can't I do that? Oh, is that because they're still part of the... They're still part of... Okay. Oscar's salvation. Os Oscar contacts you. He requests help. He's a housemate. He's a high mate. But he's also unconscious. Which means he's probably old and dilapidated. And that's kind of not what I want right now. Yo, that's pretty... Uh, Gubier is now our philosopher. It's pretty, I like that. Complex clothing is done. Wonderful. Next step, I think. It'll be like normal furniture, right? Or is that vanilla expanded? Complex furniture? Yeah. Things like an actual bed would be very nice, and like dresser and a bedside table would be nice. We're also getting a fairly large stockpile now of pemmican, which is great. In fact, we almost don't have enough uh, vegetarian produce to cook all of our meat. I'd rather you not use the berries because they can be eaten raw and you don't get a debuff from that. So, berries. Don't, don't, not the berries, not the fruits. Use the, use the rice that we've got. I am surprised that we are 12 days in and we've had no raids yet. Kessler Syndrome, that's fine. That just means that shuttles can't land on our our area. That's fine. Time to get the tailoring bench up. Let's just stick it there for now. So we can get some parkas and t-shirts and stuff. A child chased by imps. Do we rescue Roni? Roni is a cute name. So yes, we're going to rescue Roni. Roni, come on home. We'll protect you. We'll look after you. Because your name reminds me of a pasta. And it's cute. There we go. Roni's on his way. Roni, get here as soon as you can, please. Hunter lacks weapon. Roni, you are not a hunter. I'm sorry, you are not a hunter. You are a nothing apart from a cleaner right now. And you can stone cut too. That's fine. And here are the imps. That are chasing him. Roni walks slow. We're going to have to go out and protect him. We're going to have to go up and catch him up. Well, they're not attacking straight away. That's... Or are they? Are they coming through here? They're coming through here. It's fine. What are you wearing? I don't know what you're wearing, but that is cool. Alright. Melee warriors. To the side. Roni, come over here. Uber and... Senra set up here. Coyote and Roller get ready to pounce. And Wombat behind the tree. Bramble Maze. Let's go ahead and use the Bramble Maze. It's got to be on fertile area though, isn't it? So we'll put it there. 
Make it a little bit harder for him to get to us. And then we will use the Word of Fear from Wombat. And we'll have Coyote and Roller go up to attack him. And we'll use Flame Ball on him. Oh, he's, he's going to run now? Maybe don't use Flame Ball right now if he's right there. He has the Word of Fear and he's dead. Cool. We also have the benefit of not caring if clothes are tainted, tattered, or eating human meat. Always a bonus, isn't it? So, butcher creature, make sure we butcher human-like corpses. We're going to also make sure that Roni stays in the home area, too. So our next port of call is to get um, our new child a bed. Could let in a draft. It could let in a child! Uh, our yak meat has rotten away. That's fine. We're about to butcher a human, so... You know, more human meat for us, right? There we go. We can now make one less Parker, too. Because we've already got one. From a, a corpse. That's that's fine. Don't have to expand the storage zone for now. We'll probably have to build shelves soon. Uh, but at least now we've got enough food that we can make human meat. Uh, human meat pemmican. Lovely. Coyote has decided to put on the visage mask. I think it's fair. Um, considering he's our... Oh, no, he's our nothing, is he? Senra's our... Yeah. Coyote, drop the mask. Senra, you can pick it up because you are our grand chief. And Roni grew up. Uh, great memory is the only particularly good one of those. Cool. Carry on growing, Roni. We have a raid from the Virus Pact. It's only... Oh, it's two. That's fine. We can. I think we can handle that. Go ahead and get it set up in the same location, actually, as last time. Where are they coming from? Where are they? They're up here. Hopefully they'll come down here as well. So, we're going to set up a little bit further back. Uh, Coyote, you can get your melee weapon out and just get ready to rush them. Same with you, Rola. Scoobia, get back a little bit. So they're going to come down this way. Hopefully they're going to come down this direction. They are. So we're going to Bramble Maze. And then we're going to have Coyote use his Fireball. To hopefully set fire to all the Brambles. Because that makes it... Slower walk speed, I think. I'm honestly not sure what it does, to be honest. Uh, Coyote, go ahead and fight... Okay, so we have now one guy with a gun. Now, guns are scary. Word of fear. Can you word of fear him? You can. Well, don't get too close to him. Word of fear. Go. How close do you have to get to this guy? Apparently very close. Wombat, back up. Back up. Wombat, back up. He's chasing Wombat now. Now he's running. Okay, chase him down. Oh, he's coming back. Don't get too close, don't get too close. Coyote, switch to your bow. One bat back up. One back up. Engage in melee. We've knocked him out. And we are going to kill him rather than capture him. Because I want his stuff. So you finish him off. He's an experiment. He's an abomination. And we're going to steal all of his things. All the more human meat, the merrier. 16 days in, and we have complex furniture, so we can actually build proper bedrooms now. Next step... Everybody say excuse me to, or excuse you to my girlfriend, who just burped in the corner of my bedroom. Um, next research is going to be... smithing. Wombat has gained a silent level. So... Life Rot. Psychically induces randomized mass of necrosis on a target, exposing the... So basically, infect them and give them cancer. Lovely. Uh, steal Vitality. It siphons vitality from a close living target, transferring the target's natural healing factor, movement speed, and consciousness to the caster. Or Corpse Talk. Target corpse and temporarily appropriate the victim's skills to make up for the caster's deficiencies. 
I'm gonna have to get Corpse Walk at some point, but Steel Vitality is really cool. So if like Wombat's sick, I can steal someone's vitality. That's pretty cool. Ghost Walk, Psychically can Ah, oh, so walk through walls and stuff. But I want to get Corpse Walk. Specifically so I can get consumed bodies. Because that's cool. And um Death Shield, but more importantly, Enthrall. Psychically strips the deceased target's life force and infuses it directly onto their bones, animating them for a full day. The only remaining instinct is to inflict pain on the caster's enemies. And resurrect. By sacrificing a natural finger, the caster is able to in imitate the effects of resurrect Amexerum on any non-desiccated desiccate corpse. The psychic energy repairing broken down tissues and kickstarting the body back to life. The target will be incapacitated and their allegiances will remain the same. The less preserved the body is, the more likely the target is to suffer from negative side effects. The long, intense concentration ends with the caster falling into a six-hour coma. So basically, and death shield, so to stop people from dying, which is pretty cool. But resurrect someone as, like, zombies, which is cool. And then resurrect someone by sacrificing a finger and bringing your friends back to life. Decided to get a fueled stove rather than focusing on using the campfire for cooking because it's so much slower. So we'll have the cook simple meals. We'll also have make pemmican. Do that forever, forever, because we need to have food to sustain us for a, for a longer time. And then cook simple meals down to four. As soon as we get refrigeration, we'll be able to cook better foods, but for now, this is what we're going to have to live with. I think it's about time we set up a building specifically for storage. Benra has now also gained a Psycast level. And Crop Burst. Infuse a fertile area with life energy, causing it to sprout plantable crops. That finish... Okay, cool. Let's do that. I have no idea what it's going to do, but we'll find out. So, Senra, come to here. Do it right there. Ah, uh, you need a little bit more sci focus to do that. Okay, it's time to try out crop burst. Let's just do it right there. Oh, I did it. Whoa. Dear Lord, what did I just do? Fire flower. Okay. O okay. Fuses a fertile area with life energy, causing it to sprout to plantable crops that finish growing, finish growth in relative. Yo, I don't know what I just did, but. Oh, I think I see what it's done. So the whole time Senra is. Okay, the whole time Senra has enough. Um, think it will increase the fertility of the. Growing? I'm not sure. But I like the pretty colours. Gubia has also leveled up in their Psy casting. I'm thinking we're gonna get Chunk Skip so we can um, bring some cover up from out of nowhere if we need to. And Coyote has also leveled up. So it's time to get the next level of Fire. And now it's Roller's time. So we can go Mind Control, which I think is what we are going to go, and Transmute Stone. Luck Transfer, Location Swap, that's pretty cool. Transmutation, utilizing the Alchemical Foundation. Let's target an item or stack of items into an object of equal or lesser value. Otherwise extremely unpredictable and uncontrollable, that's fine. Skill Roll. Health Swap, that's probably something I do want. Ben, okay, so yeah, we're gonna go with mind control. So now that it's getting colder, in theory, if I put vents in here, it should equal equal temperature on the outside to minus eight, which means the crops inside are now frozen. It's a rudimentary fridge, but it's a fridge. Uh, we had a transport pod crash of an enemy who we will who we will kill 
but we're going to do it creatively with Hawk's Talk. Yeah, we're going to bring Coyote and Wombats down here to deal with him. Hopefully we'll get to him in time. We will. So Coyote, go ahead and throw a fireball at him. Wombat, get a bit closer. Oh, and he's dead. So I'm going to extinguish the fire around him. I'm going to have Wombat use Corpse Talk and then look at their skills. And it should temporarily go up. It does. Look at that. It goes up. I love that. For 15 days? That's kind of wild. Does it go away when we butcher the corpse, though? Look at that. They've got like a little, what I'm assuming is a corpse following them around. That's really cool. I need a ton more wood. All the wood. It's snowing. It's going to get real cold around here. We now have smithing. Smithing, 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 smithing. And I think the next step... Maybe get some weapons and armor. It's going to be long blades and plate armor. I think plate armor would be good. But then maybe things like siege equipment so we can protect ourselves a bit better. Would also be pretty good. Then we got things like stew, well, like electricity and stuff. We, we do need that, but kind of ruins the vibe of what we're going for. So I'm going to work on getting some siege equipment first. Man hunting huskies. There's only two of them. That shouldn't really be an issue. We'll get everybody up and ready. Oh, we're working on a nature shrine down here, so I'm going to have Coyote just try and finish that off while the rest of them uh, protect Coyote down here. But Senra's got her gun. Or his gun. The rest of them we're ready to... I uh... wonder if we can mind control a dog. They're coming. There's a coming. Get ready to flame one of their asses. Fireball missed. Okay. Can we mind control a dog? No. Can we... Word of fear a dog? No. We're just going to have to kill the dog. So does going through the brambles hurt them? I'm not entirely sure. Ah, come on. Kill it. Kill it. There we go. All I do know is I can then fireball it. There's 16 pemmican there. It's going to go to waste if I don't pick it back up. Okay, we missed the dog again. That hit the dog, though. There we go. So we have another crash here. And I'm going to wait for them to die. And then see if I can use Corpse Talk on more than one. Um, corpse? So as soon as they die real quick. Come on, hurry up and die, will you? A mad raccoon? Mad coons? Ooh, that's... Is that a racist word? Coon. I don't know. I feel like it might be. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I'm not sure. If I did, and it's a it's a, a racist word, I do apologize. Don't, you know, don't cancel me and take it out of context. I was simply talking about a raccoon. Alright, corpse talk. Go. Oh, you totally can. You can totally do it on more than one. That's so cool. That's so very cool. Um, oh yeah, I forgot we're dealing with the Mad Raccoon. Where is, where is said Mad Raccoon? It's over here. That's fine. So, uh, maybe don't use the Fireball for, um, one Raccoon. They may get, well, we may miss and then end up setting our entire base on fire, which we don't want, but he's dead now, so it's fine. I can safely say I now think I have enough food. Uh, to last us the rest of the uh, 
the rest of the video. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I'll still create more because I can and I have the food spare, but I don't think I necessarily need any more. But, you know, it's... Ooh, Wombat leveled up. Let's have a look, Wombat. All right. Consume bodies. Psychically strips all remaining life force from nearby humanoid corpses and stores the essence of permanent heat. That's what I want. So I need to wait for some human corpses to be around, and then I will use consume bodies. I'm also going to bump up the psi focus level for all of our people to keep it up. So we can, can you know, use more. But consume bodies, this sounds like fun. I feel like it would be kind of fun to go and raid somebody. So I'm going to bring... Coyote. I, would, I just kind of want more corpses, to be honest. So we'll bring a few of our people. We'll leave, we'll leave Roller and Roni behind. We'll bring some pemmican with us and some medicine too. Okay, they're nearly there. We will attack it straight away. Engage in the warfare and the death and destruction of our enemies. Oh god, they have turrets. This might have been a bad idea. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We'll come up. We'll come down here. We'll be. We'll be. We'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. Probably. As long as we avoid the turrets and then maybe take out the solar generator first. All right, flame ball, go. And we'll chunk skip here so we have some cover. Oh, they're dead. One of them's dead anyway. I'd like to go after the second one, but I don't want to. I don't want to just yet because the I need to, I need to kill the turret before I do anything. The turret before I do anything. So we'll sit here and destroy that first. And of course, it still has power because of the battery, which I don't think I'm gonna be able to target that without getting shot by the turret. So we're just gonna wait for it to run out of power. As for you, you can just sit there and die. Let's go ahead and break this wall open. Alright, cool. We'll just sit in here and chill. That uh, note, let's bring our, our colonists back up first and then sit up there and chill. If it burns the place to the ground, it's... F oh dear. Okay, we're being raided. This is not great, but we have mind control, so... I'm sure, I'm sure we'll be fine. Our guys will be fine. They're attacking immediately. These guys are going to chill up here for a bit until this battery runs out of a juice, hopefully. And then we'll have to deal with these guys up here. Where's the raid coming from up here? Okay. I guess it's time to try out mind control. I'm a little, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Right, mind control. Let's go ahead and use mind control. There we go. Blackjack's now under our control. But a few seconds by the looks of it. Go go away. Go back further away. Okay. If I... In theory, mind control him and then animal war call. Is that going to make the animal friendly? Or against us we're about to find out because I don't know okay so far the animal is not doing anything to us or to him Let's check back over here and see how the battery's running it's nearly there <laughs> the animal war calls going after him look it worked. It totally worked. Okay, so he's he's hurt now. Uh, he managed to somehow kill a timber wolf, but fine. He's now hurt, so he can't exactly... Um, he, he's not quick enough to actually catch up with us. Alright, you guys need to take care of this... Uh, this turret and the battery. Senra, if you come up here, can you, like, still be in cover of the turret and then target the battery? 
Yes, you can. Oh god, he's gotten too close for my liking. Too close, too close, too close. You mind control him and then just move him further away. There we go. Need doctor. Yes, you do need a doctor. I need a doctor. Is there any animals nearby? I'll make the rabbit go after him. And he's dead. Is the rabbit going to attack us now? I'm not entirely sure. I may have to find out. I'm going to suspend butchering humans for now. So I can use the corpse power thing. Is that going to try and kill us now? Hey, we defeated the thing. So I'm going to add this all to the home zone and then unforbid everything. And then world make a caravan home. With the the thing, the person, take the components. We won't worry about the steel. Take the tox grenades. We'll take the turret for now. But I'm more interest, more interested in where are the corpses? Cancel for now. Open all of these corpses for me. All of the uh, the gibbet cages because I want to steal them. Okay, the, the thing isn't attacking these guys, so they're okay. And I want to get this wood hauled in, too. Opening, open. Nope. Open. I know, just to open it. Go inside there. Because I want the corpses so I can... Why can I not claim that? Go and, Go and break in. I want to claim the corpses so I can use the corpse power on them. Did we just get exploded? Oh, he's still up. He's still alive. Not today, sir. No, thank you, Bob. There we go. Not getting up anytime soon now. Let's go back in here. I want to see what's in here. All right. Another gibbet cage. Open it and then open that one. Okay, right, now we can re-form the caravan with him, him, that, the components, the smoke leaf, the go juice, yes. And then corpse, 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 corpse. Okay, it's too much to carry. Is it still too much to carry if we leave him behind? Yes. Okay, I have a better plan. Get me stockpile zone critical corpses. Go and haul all of these corpses in and just finish him off. Everybody's okay. The deserter is not a quest we are willing to do right now. Alright, is that all of the corpses? Ah, uh, most of them. Wombat. Oh, you need to focus some more. Okay, Wombat should now be able to use, uh, very close to being able to use Consume Body. No, go and, are you kidding me? What are you at? 78%. Come on, get to 80 and we're fine. Right, 80. Consume Bodies. Consume Bodies. Oh, so it extends the Psy Focus. That's pretty cool. There you go, everybody's back home. They're a little bit hungry, so they're going to grab some food to eat. Our nature shrine looks cool, though. I like that. Senra has leveled up their psychasting ability to... Word of animals. Soothe an animal using psychic suggestion, either calming a manhunting animal or taming them. So we can tame a bunch of animals now. Yo, I'm so going to tame a mega sloth. I don't even care. We have a tamed Mega Sloth. Hell yeah, buddy! Now, I, I admittedly, I got excited and then realized that nobody can actually tame the Mega Sloth and he's eating all of our food, so. Sorry, buddy. Uh, sorry. Sorry, guy. Sorry. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. It's temple time. 
Wombat has leveled up again. So we can get Death Shield. Locks the touched target's life force in place for a day, preventing them from dying. After this period, they can die from accumulated wounds, blood loss, or missing limbs or organs. But for now, we can stop you. So if we want... We could... We could... <laughs> we could get somebody, a prisoner, use Death Shield, harvest all of their limbs, every part of them, drain them for blood, take their heart, kidney, lungs, eyes, ears, jaws, nose... Fingers and toes, and they won't die. Siege equipment is done. Next step, I think. This will use power. Okay, next step, we will go with long uh, with plate armor. Let's have a look at the siege equipment, shall we? So, security. Ballista, an ancient form of military siege engine in the form of a crossbow mounted on a wooden construct. The bolts fire from this machine explode into splinters on impact. And catapult. A catapult is a ballistic device used to launch a projectile a great distance without the aid of gunpowder or other propellants. In use since ancient times, catapult has proven to be one of the most persistently effective mechanisms of warfare. And that does shoot over a fairly long distance. As does the ballista. I may build up some protective walls and then build some of those. So defensive walls are going up. Um, such as I wanted. I'm going to need a ton more wood though. For the ballistas and stuff. But it's progress. It's going to make our situation more defensible. I'll leave this area open so they want to come round here and and then I'll defend or fortify this area a bit better. Coyote has leveled up, so more fire. Explosion. Generate a brief micro skip gate within underground reservoirs of unrefined organic chemicals, along with a tiny spark at a designated location. Burning gas burst burning gas bursts forth in a large radius and elements of chem fuel spurt out uncontrollably. Breathe flame, so like what the imps can do. Or fire shield. Eye blast. I'm going to go with this one. It's more fun. Fire is always more fun when there's more of it, right? Let's go ahead and try it out, shall we? Let's do it uh, maybe away from the base. Probably a good idea. Let's try it over here. Yo. Hey, that's one hell of an explosion. ka chow Rola has gained a new psych, uh, silent level. Heat focus. Initiate harmonic meditation, which converts all accumulated heat to psi focus after 10 seconds. Nah, it's not really that useful, to be honest. In fact, none of these are particularly useful, except for health swap. Uh, I mean, yeah, these aren't particularly that useful. We'll try transmute stone. I'll see what that does. Where are you, Rola? Transmute stone. Doesn't think it's an area of stone which have all its minerals swapped out for a single randomized type of underground strata. So if I do it like there, what happens? Okay, so it changes the granite into sandstone and what looks like steel and slate. Oh, this could be a really good way of discovering what is like in the mountains? I'm going to try that again. I'm going to try that again. Put it there. Because it won't get rid of the steel, I don't think. It doesn't. But it does tell me where the steel is. Ooh, that is particularly helpful. We are being raided by Monsquamau. Uh, three piggies. They have grenades. This is what I hate. And they would pick the one direction that I don't have any defenses set up yet. So that's cool. That's helpful. Um, let's get everybody set down here. I'm going to set up a bramble maze and then I'm going to set fire to it too. And hopefully that will happen before they get here. So if I set bramble maze here... 
and then set explosion in the same area. That's going to set a bunch of things on fire, and they're going to struggle to to break through. Let's get everybody set up behind some cover. Who's got uh, chip chunk skip? Who has who has that? Someone's got it. Someone has the ability to skip chunks. There it is, chunk skip. All right, behind the cover, everybody, please. That's gonna have to do. Uh, Roni, get get back. Stay stay away, Roni. Sorry. Uh, right. Mind control may come in. If I can get mind control on the gr grenadiers. Okay, you guys are going to have to back up. If I can get mind control on the grenadiers, that might be really helpful. But there you go. Mind. And then throw a grenade at the grenadier. You guys are going to have to back up. But I've thrown... There you go. I've thrown grenades at... Now they're, now they're killing each other. Which is exactly what I wanted. There you go. One of them's dead. Can you use my control again, Roller? Yes, you can. Hello, buddy. Grenade each other. Go and kill each other. Ahaha. <laughs> now, kill yourself. Just jump on that grenade, Blitz. <laughs> nice. Um, I may actually have to use Death Shield here on Senra because she's only got two hours to live. I wasn't paying enough attention. And I'm going to have Ubia come and tend to Roller. And then we're going to have to tend to Senra. That's good because I won't be able to tend to her injuries in time. But if I can use Death Shield and then go and tend to them, I think we should be okay. I'm hoping this works. So, Senra, Death Shield, 24 hours. Cycling induced immortality that lasts for one day. Cool. Your focus is tending to Senra, so they don't die. And now tend to... Before you go anywhere, Gubia, tend to Roller 2. Don't be rude. Although Gubia has now leveled up as well. Water skip or chaos skip? I think chaos skip is the best choice here because then we can learn actual skip. And then we can get wall raise as well. Mass chaos skip. Smoke pop. Fast skip. Skip the caster along with anyone standing near them to a willing ally at a distant location. This can send people far across the planet and the skip people will always appear near a random ally on the target map and be stunned for a few seconds from the journey. Skip door. Creates an opening to a network of skip gates that can be placed in any location with permanent presence. presence. The network is tied to a group's collective consciousness, allowing others to use it and different psychosis can add to it. However, the entrance points are sensitive to physical disturbances which can cause them to collapse. Teleportation doors. Portal doors. Damn, Wombat has leveled up his psychasts again. Now, here's the question. Do we get Resurrect? Or, or do we get Enthrall? I think Enthrall, because none of our people have died yet. So we're going to get Enthrall for now. Should we go and rescue Basti? Yeah, why not? Why not, right? Well, we can. Why not? We'll do it. Why not? Form a caravan. We'll send Coyote, Wombat, and Gubia. We also will send them with some food. Made a bit more food than that. And some medicine. Go, my minions, go! Although, before that, we have a, a raid. So, we will cancel the caravan for now. And get everybody ready for a fight. Roni... Pepperoni, get back inside. I don't want you getting caught up in the fight. Is there only one? From yeah, one area. How many of them? Three? I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. Alright. 
Let's test out our ballistas, shall we? I'll have uh Brony man that barista barista man the baristas the ballistas and get ready. Because they can fire and they sort of like splinter into it, although Okay, hold your fire so far because you haven't actually they're not actually in range yet. I hope they're coming this direction. They are, yeah, okay, they are coming this direction. Okay, so hold fire is off. You may target when ready. Assuming they come into range. I would like who's got the best melee skill out of you guys? I would like Coyote to open the door and have Goobier and Wombat next to you. So they actually make their way here and will hold. Come on. You've got to be in range soon, right? You should be able to fire, right? No? There we go. Now we're shooting at them. Alright, Coyote, use your explosion. Oh, ho, 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 that was fun. Okay, so one of them is dead. Wombat, can you use Enthrall from here? You totally can. Why can't I use that right now? Is it maybe because you're on fire? That makes sense. Okay. Back up, but leave the door open. And let's use... Uh, mind control on you. As soon as you come through the door. And have you send back outside to target your friends. You carry on manning the ballista. There you go, you're dead. Now you guys can target this guy. Dead as a doornail, right. Let's try and use enthrall so you can. It's literally just a walking corpse, I love it. It's straight up a walking corpse. That's pretty cool. Um, Guys, I haven't noticed. If, I don't. I don't realize if you you guys have noticed this, but there's a, there's a bit of a fire going on outside. Would you Would you care to, you know, deal with that, and then take all of their stuff? I so want more thralls. So it's a shame they're not permanent, but that would be cool. So you, and then you. And then enthrall you. There you go. We totally have like three skeletons just roaming around here to protect the base. I wonder, in theory, could you then use death shield on them so they don't die? After a day? And then just keep reusing death shield? I feel like you probably could, right? We will have to test that out soon. Okay, so they have 11 hours left in the thing. I'm going to come up here and use death shield on him. And see if he ends up, like, dissipating after a while. Bodies consumed eight. <laughs> consumed lots of bodies. So in theory, I could just keep reusing Death Shield and they wouldn't die, I think. Which is kind of cool. Completely forgot that we were going to go rescue Basti, but like... Eh. Rola has leveled up her psychos again. So we can get heat focus, which meditates all accumulated heat into psi focus after 10 seconds. Luck transfer creates a rift in karmic balance by shifting the negative karma from the first target onto the second target, as well as receiving their positive karma. Only affects combat and the duration scales with the first target's psychic sensitive sensitivity. We're actually going to deviate from this one. And we're going to go with the Technomancer. And I will show you why the next time they level up. We have a bulk goods trader. I don't know if they'll have anything good to, to buy or sell from us, but we may be able to make some silver here and get rid of some junk. And Senra leveled up. Cool. What can we get rid of? We can get rid of skins that sounds evil doesn't it 
Um, get rid of our skins. And then maybe get rid of some of the crappy clothes as well, so it's not taking a bunch of space. Is there anything I can buy there that's worth anything? Buy some mayo. Uh, it's really nothing there worth buying, to be honest. No, maybe the chocolate. Maybe we'll buy some chocolate. Why not? And for Senra's side casts, tree spout and future large fertile area with potent life energy, causing it to sprout fully grown oak trees. Or manhunter pulse. <laughs> that was an easy one, wasn't it? Now we've just finished our plate armor um, thing, and I think it's final time to research electricity, but we have a raid here now. A group of four pigs. We're going to have to do the same strategy as last time with using the, uh, hopefully, the mind-bending one that would allow me to take control of their brains and use grenades against them. So I'm going to have... I could use man-hunting pulse, but I'd need a lot less heat. I need more heat. Um, I could save it, to be fair, and then use it. But I don't really want to do that right now. Um, so I'm going to have Senra use the Ballista as well at... No, I want... I'll have Gubia use the thing rather than Roller because Roller's got mind control. And Rody once again, hang out in the back. I do believe they are coming from this way. Yeah, they are. So you may fire when ready. And I'm going to have Roller get ready to mind control him as soon as he comes into range. He has not come into range. Back up. I don't want that grenade hitting us. That's going to tear through the wood, isn't it? Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, Gubia, fall back a little bit. Okay, now man the barista. Use it. Roller, mind control. Go. Okay, never mind. He's dead. That's fine. Wart, go and attack your friends. We may have to build these walls out of steel. So we'll replace them with steel. Why are you... Ah, probably because they can't see anything with these walls here. So let's get rid of them. And then replace the walls eventually with steel and stuff. I throw an explosion out here. There we go. Back up a little bit. Catch them on fire. They're going to worry about more being on fire than anything else. Mind control you. And attack your friend. Ah, what needs medical treatment. I couldn't care less. Back up a little bit. I'll have to replace these with steel walls. Let's go ahead and use mind control again if we need to. Oh, they're real pissed at each other, aren't they? Loving that. If I flame ball, just out of curiosity, if I flame ball the grenades, is that going to make them explode? Maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and throw another flame ball in the, in, the, in the fray. And use enthrall on him. And mind control once again. So they're all killing each other. Colonist needs rescue. He's not a colonist. How close he is Wart to dying? Oh, it's because I've got them set to hold fire. I'm an idiot. There we go. They're dead. Well done, guys. Well done. So we have been asked to do a prison break. I think. Where, 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 did it, where did it go? Prison camp opportunity. To get Psychic Shock Lance and Psychic Insanity Lance. I kind of want to do it just to show our power. 
So let's go for it, shall we? We'll leave... Hmm. Who are we leaving behind? We'll leave Senra behind again. With Roni. I love that name, Roni. I really do love that name. We'll send everybody else. With a bunch of pemmican. Some medicine. Although we're running low on medicine. Probably don't need 20. There we go. That should be enough to keep us going for a while. And they are almost there. Let's do this thing. Send away. Go away. We're not visitors here. See how difficult this might be for us, shall we? Oh, golly. Maybe not. You know, just sometimes you think, nah. They have mortars. I wonder if we can just break it and then break... I use chaos skip and just chaos skip them away. If I get close enough, can I do that? Can I just chaos skip them out? Teleport the target to a random position near where he started. Stuns the target for a second and is considered a hostile action. Is that going to make them hostile towards us? Or is it still going to count as us letting it freeing them? Or do we have to... Oh, we have to have line of sight. Okay. Um, let's try and break through. No, they're attacking us. Okay, run. Run, 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 run. Let's throw an explosion down so they can't chase us. And just run. Run. Run, run as fast as you can. They can't catch us. We're the gingerbread mans. Mans. Yeah, no, we're, we're, no, we're not capable of dealing with that many people just yet. No, no thanks. No tar. No, we're, we're good thanks. What about this prison camp? It's three turrets and one waster. We can probably do that. All right, this one, this one we can do. This one I've got. Why would you have a bridge and then one lamp just out in the middle of nowhere? Okay, yeah, this one, this one we can manage. Probably. We'll throw an explosion in here, and then you know we'll be all we'll be all good. So let's make sure we're not in range of the turrets. Ooh, that's actually too far away to throw a to throw a thing. But we can no, we're still too far away to throw. Okay, let's throw an explosion down. Throw a fireball down here at the solar panel, so that catches fire. We'll deal with this one this one guy. If I now enthrall him, will he go and attack the turrets? He will. Let's go ahead and kill off this solar panel. But if we do the it's probably be easy to fire at the battery, to be honest. We may end up having to do both anyway. Let's shut these turrets off. Whilst our thrall is running at the uh, the turrets. To hopefully destroy at least one of them. And then we'll move down to here. I mean, the skeleton's doing quite well, I must admit. Can we fire at the battery from this distance? Yo, this skeleton is MVP right now. There's no point destroying this one because the turret's been destroyed. So let's go ahead and go up here and break. Let's break his out. Who's actually an enemy, so we may end up killing him as well. Let's go. If In fact, if we kill him, we can just resurrect him, enthrall him, and then he'll break through and kill the other turret. Oh, the skeleton's downed. That's fine. The arm did well. Let's break this guy down. And, uh... We'll mind control him first. And then we'll kill him. Then we will enthrall him. And he will hopefully go and attack the turrets. 
There we go. This worked out beautifully for us. And while the turret is distracted by our uh, skeleton, we'll go ahead and kill him. Oh, the turrets have now seen us. That is unfortunate. The skeleton has been knocked out. Uh, let's go ahead and get into some cover. And we'll continue destroying the uh, turret. But I think there's only one left now. Yeah, there's only one left now. Which is pretty damn good. Wombat and Gooby are both hurt, but not too badly. Apparently you guys suck at shooting, though. That's more accurate. Use the solar pinhole and we can actually see what we're shooting at. I don't know what Wombat's shooting at. There we go. Kaboom. Apparently we can ride the, the- apparently the skeletons are rideable. What? Apparently I can ride the skeletons. That is... Incredibly humorous to me. I don't need the steel. But I can ride- I take the batteries. And the heater. It means we can actually have some power if I take the solar panels as well. I can ride the skeletons? What? Caravan lost? Oh, okay, just the eight skeleton. Maybe you can't ride the skeletons then. So now that we have ste st stealing, stolen the solar generators, we could probably use them for a bit of power. I don't know if I can uh, make... I can't make con components yet, but I can take the power and then power the heaters for now. And also the steel mini turret, which is kind of cool. It's only like a stopgap until we get actual power. But I can also use one of the solar generators to make an air conditioning unit, I think. Yeah, I can do that. I can I, I can do yeah, I can totally do that. So let me go ahead and put you. That wouldn't power the battery, would it? Yes, it would. I can do this. I can, I can work this out. I, I can't, however, build... Um, I, I can't build the solar pan, uh, the, the air conditioner unit, though, yet, though, so that's pointless. I got excited for a second. Coyote leveled up. Let's check out his eye blast. Oh, it's a fucking laser beam. That's cool. Which links to a nearby white dwarf targeting a location to prevent overshooting. The blind energy shoots forth and sets a small area ablaze. Gubia has now leveled up, so we're going to grab Skip so we can teleport to where we want to teleport to. And we can teleport other people away from us. It's finally getting to um, time we can start planting crops. And you know what? I don't actually need many of these. In fact, I've, I've got so much food, I really don't need any of them. But I will... Nope, not shrink, expand. There we go. I'll continue growing them. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, but only the ones that aren't food, because frankly, I don't need any other ones. So let's make that into cotton. And leave it at that. I think our next like main focus is getting electricity researched. Oh, hell yeah, we have researched electricity in our first thing, air conditioning. We have research, we have power, we have electricity now. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some conduits into the base. And then hook up our batteries too. Air conditioning is now done. 
think machining is the next step. Maybe... Uh, yeah, machining is the next step. But it does mean I can now go to temperature. Add coolers. To the freezer that we have. And have things cool down. I'm also going to designate the vents to open and close. Because even in the winter we can still use them for... Uh, chilling our things down and I'm going to replace our torches with lights Good old standing lamps To allow us to better see things in the dark We're being raided Four humans that's fine they're not attacking immediately so I'm okay with it We'll chill until they get to us. Oh god, they're already outside. I thought they weren't attacking immediately. Well, they are attacking immediately. Whoops, daisies. All right. Two arms, everybody. Two arms. Man the ballistas. Man the ballistas. Mind control, if you can. There you go. Melee attack each other. Come out here and eye blast this mother trucker. Ka chow. Wombat, go ahead and enthrall. Roller, come on out. He's running away. There we go. He's fleeing into the water. There's another one dead. Wombat, come on out and use enthrall again. And then let each other, or let them do the dirty work. Oh, Roller got hurt. Roller, go and find yourself a... Uh, a medical bed in just a second. We'll let the, uh, the thralls deal with that. Only one person got hurt? Yes. Roller, into bed, please. There we go. It was nice and easily dealt with. We'll go and haul in their stuff and um, a bolt action rifle. Very nice. Come up here and consume this body, please, Wombat. Okay, Senra, that was just rude. Leave the body alone. There we go. Wombat has once again leveled up their psy casting level. I'm going to go with enchant quality because then we can upgrade the quality of the weapon we've got. So if we drop this poor weapon down and enchant the quality of it, it's now normal. Awesome. Roller has once again leveled up her uh, ability and we're going to go with, because I want to get a uh, rock construct. So I'm going to go with uh, with the uh, improved quality again. So Coyote has now leveled up to... I want to do it for the sake of doing it to Fire Beam. Let's make sure you're not in the way of that though, Coyote. Let's, just, let's, just, let's do it in the middle of the water. That makes sense. Oh dear God. Okay. Um, Coyote's now in Paralytic Shock. Sorry, Psycho... Psych Psychic shock. Um, I should have expected that to happen because it was going to violate his neutral heat. So he's now having a breakdown. Um, it's going to take him six days to recover. Oh dear lord. And with that, ladies and gentlemen. It's 60 days. That is one whole year. That is part one of this episode. Part two will be coming out soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.